So Lorraine, it says here you're British? That's right. I've tried desperately to hide my accent, but you know, it comes out. You're really good at an American accent. Would you feel more comfortable doing this in an American accent? I would. Probably, right? <laughs> What was your scariest moment ever as a performer on the show? We were doing a sketch with Steve Martin called Theodoric of York. I'm sorry, and he is a... He's a comedian. Com okay. And boy, we were really resentful when he started uh, hosting the show. <laughs> and I was being cast in the drowning pool to make sure I wasn't a witch. It was set up in such a way that there was the set and the pool and I was tossed in upside down and was to swim underneath and come out the other side. So your scariest moment was actually, you, for my you, life. you could have died. For my life. It's good that we started out with that. Yeah, with an <laughs> uplifting story. There are a couple of characters that are really off the beaten path, like the two a-holes mm -hmm. and the girl who's always topping someone else's story. The first time when they're ever done, how did they go over? The two a-holes, Jason and I wrote it at like four or five in the morning. We were chewing gum to like stay awake. <laughs> and we just kind of like came up with it. And those are always really fun to write because I love I working love with Jason. knowing that you guys just came yeah. up with it like that. The Penelope one was inspired by someone that I actually know. It's just such a weird personality trait to one-up things that aren't really that important and I, I saw her over, and it was something dumb like I'm getting a massage or something she's like oh I'm getting one I'm getting a massage on Monday and I just had one or, or something and I was like okay <laughs> I'm gonna go off the cards so I put these two cards together that don't go together oh, and the second question is what problems if any did you have proud of well, what problems proud are you proud of? of one time Lauren had me and Gilda show up for something and I was sick to my stomach so someone said here this is a medication but there is an allergic reaction that is on the books and so Gil and I are backstage you know figuring out what we're gonna do and all of a sudden my tongue went rigid in my mouth and I said uh Gilda, maybe you better say my name she immediately went into her character Colleen who is autistic she's done it a couple <laughs> times on the show but it's so wrong and she's like <laughs> oh no now you're doing incredible dramatic roles. How did you allow yourself to be open and exposed like that? I think when you make a decision to be an actor, you do kind of have to sign somewhere that you're gonna expose everything. The dramatic stuff to me is, is very therapeutic in a way that co comedy is too, but in a different way. Well, I think you do it really well. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> What a great place to end, right? Or are we yeah. going to keep going? <laughs> you got enough. I, don't do you like how I just wrapped our own interview? <laughs> Thanks, guys.